Aloha everybody and welcome to part two of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So for area three, we're going to be taking the Blue Ranger, Billy. And uh, just by looking at his sprite when he attacks all the putty enemies, you can kind of tell what his character is supposed to be. Oh god, don't hurt me! Eh, I will hurt you! <laughs> okay, he's not quite that obnoxious on this show, but yeah, Billy is the nerd of the group. He is the science guy, the one, the techno wizard, you know. The tales to everybody else's Sonic. Uh, and you know, I just find it funny that even though you can go through this entire game as Billy, you can take out all these putties, all these monsters, and uh, Billy's always holding his head and being like, Oh God, this is such a scary thing! Ah! <laughs> you know. Like, I'm running around in the sewers beating the shit out of everything in sight, and yet I'm still kind of scared. I don't get that, but you know. I like I do like that thing about Billy, though, is like when you get into a, a combo, usually everyone else just does their thing and they knock him out, and, but Billy has this little rapid punch kind of thing, you know? I keep expecting nine hit combo to show up in the top right. <laughs> also, Billy has the best jump kick ever. It's like the best pose. Not that thing. But where's the jump kick? Do it! Do it past me! Come on, come on. There we go! <laughs> Sorry, I had to wait for that. Uh. And yes, as everyone informed me in part one, the city is called Angel Grove. I don't know why I was thinking Valley High, I must be thinking of, like, Buffy? I'm probably wrong about Buffy, too. It's like Sunnyvale or some shit. I don't care. I'm a casual watcher of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. You know, I don't know every detail inside and out. I couldn't tell you every monster's name in the series. In fact, the only reason I know these monsters' names now is because I decided to look it up before I started recording part one. I mean, uh, <laughs> they're pretty simplistic names, too. Like, the first boss monster is called Bones. What a shock. Guess what this guy's called? This is the boss of Area 3. You know what his name's called? His Eye Guy. Yep, the boss of Area 3 is Eye Guy! <laughs> Isn't that special? But anywho, folks, now that he has become the Blue Ranger, he's no longer holding his head in terror. And uh, Billy has this pretty awesome scepter thing that every time he does a combo, it always spins around and hits them for, like, multiple hits. Just like, uh, you know, his little rapid punch thing, but, you know. Pretty awesome, what can I say? But yeah, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was a pretty fantastic show. Some people in the comments were bringing up the fact that, uh, Hey, Clement, did you know this is based off of the Super Sentai in Japan or whatever? And it's like, yeah, I, I learned that later. But uh, I didn't know that till maybe two or three years ago. I mean, it's like, I watched the show on YTV, there was no hints. I mean, well... I guess you could probably guess that the Power Ranger footage was from a different Japanese show. I mean, you could make that assumption. But then again, we have seen scenes of, like, the Rangers in their human forms fighting putties. So I really couldn't tell when I was a kid, and, you know, like, it really matters. It's like the people who get on your back for calling Super Mario Bros. 2, uh, Super Mario Bros. 2. And then they'll be like, no, 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 that's Doki Doki Panic. The real Super Mario Bros. 2 was only in Japan. It was called The Lost Levels. Eh. And I'm like, fuck you, nerd. <laughs> it's Super Mario Bros. 2 to me, damn it. I don't give a shit about your Doki Doki Panic. That's the game we grew up on. That's the game we played. And that's the game I will always recognize as Super Mario Bros. 2. That Lost Level shit, that's just Lost Levels. I just call it Lost Levels. It's like, I didn't know about the Japanese Super Sentai stuff. I don't care. I was only caring about the show I was watching. The show with Ernie, the barkeeper guy. Or was he a barkeep? I mean, that wasn't really a bar. But is that what you call him, though? You still call him a barkeep? I digress. I only cared about the show that had Bulk and Skull, the two bumbling idiot bully guys who were also in the school. <laughs> Bulk and Skull.
Bulk and Skull uh, and the Power Rangers, they, they actually show up at the end of this game. They will show up during the end credits, so I'll, I'll point you- I'll point them out for you. But, uh, it's, it's funny, like, there are two themes everyone takes away from the Power Rangers show. Obviously, the main theme song, you know, Go, go, Power Rangers! Da -na 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 -na. Go, go, Power Rangers! Like, everyone knows the title theme. You hear the title theme, you're pumped up for a kick-ass show, you know? You're pumped up to see some teenagers beat the crap out of something. It's fantastic. But there was another theme that everyone always took to heart, and that was the Bulk and Skull theme. Because every time Bulk and Skull came into the scene, any time they were up to their mischievous ways, there was always that same song. Dun, 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 dun. Actually, I'll, I'll play it for like a few seconds. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> oh, Bulk and Skull are the best, though. So yeah, it's a sewer level. There's really not much I could say about this level. I mean, sewer levels are never good in any video game. And this one, for some reason, Billy can't fight underwater. I mean, I know he'd be a little bit slower and stuff, but, you know, how many games have I played where a guy can attack underwater? Let him attack underwater! I don't want to be swimming under the putties while they're swinging above me. <laughs> and what the hell kind of sewer system is this? What the hell is going on with Angel Grove? Why am I defending the sewers from Rita Repulsa? Is she, did she poison the town? <laughs> Again, all the mo all the boss monsters that we are seeing in this in this game are actually in the show, uh, but they're not like important characters, these boss monsters, they literally show up for like one episode. I mean, every episode, the Power Rangers have to fight a new boss monster that Rita Repulsa creates. And she always makes them gigantic, so they always have to bring out the Megazord to fight it. There might have been a few exceptions, but you know. <laughs> and, uh... Again, these boss monsters, they only show up once, so it's not like we're fighting anything significant. We don't actually get to fight Goldar in this game. And that's just blasphemous. But anywho, folks, this is I Guy, the third boss. Uh... Sure is not attacking me. <laughs> he likes to do a whole bunch of ground-pounding stuff. Eventually, the eyes will actually split apart, and he will, uh... Well, he'll be a floating eyeball, as we'll see, but, you know, he, he shoots lasers at you, he can shoot lasers at you when he's standing, he can shoot lasers at you when he's ducking, and he likes to send his eyeballs at you all over the place, so you just gotta watch out for that. Either way, though, I think Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is a pretty easy game, uh, especially compared to uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie game, which is the second game I'm going to be playing during WrestleGamia. I will be following up uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie, the game. Also on the Super Nintendo. <laughs> it is... Th those two games are two of the three Mighty Morphin Power Rangers games I have played, and I'm not going to be doing the third game I've played, but... Uh, I've also played uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on Sega Genesis, which is a completely different game from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on the Super Nintendo. Like. The game you're seeing right now, it's a platformer, it's a beat-em-up, you have boss fights and stuff. Completely different. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on the Sega Genesis is actually a fighting game. So, like, in the story mode, you get to choose from one of the five rangers. Uh, eventually, you even unlock Tommy, the Green Ranger. And, uh, you just take on all these different monsters, and it's basically just a fighting game, you know? Just imagine all the monsters that the rangers are fighting to be like Zangief, Balrog, uh, Kazuya, Heihachi, whatever. <laughs> uh, pretty slow-paced fighting game, I thought, the Sega Genesis game. I didn't find it particularly enjoyable, but then again, I sucked at it. <laughs> I didn't know how to do anything with the rangers, you know? I didn't know how to do any cool Hadoukens, fireball, laser gun techniques. I was like seven or eight or so when I played the game, but... Uh, I recently looked the game up not too long ago, and it was alright, you know. It was okay. If you want a fighting game for the Sega Genesis, look up Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but uh, don't expect the best thing in the world. 
But now we're playing as Jason, the Red Ranger. And being that red is my favorite color, I generally play as Jason during the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers game. I don't usually alternate between all the characters when I play, you know. I'll just stick with Jason, because Red Ranger, I like red. <laughs> That's the only logic I have going for it. I mean, the characters don't really operate all that differently anyway. I mean... It's like, Billy has that multiple punch thing, but it really doesn't matter. I mean, Jason's combos can still take him out in one combo. It doesn't matter if you multiple punch, it doesn't matter if, you know, you're a girl in a pink shirt, you know. Whoever you like to play is just pretty much, uh, pretty cosmetic for the most part. I mean, I did mention the few differences, like, Kimberly has her bow and arrow, but it's a minor thing, and... Really, it's all just your preference. If you liked Trini in the show, you'll play as Trini. If you liked Zack for being all breakdancy and cool, you'll play as Zack, and we'll see Zack later. But, uh... <laughs> Again, I'm just color, you know. <laughs> Jason's the Red Ranger? Okay, I guess I'll play as Jason then. Whatever. God damn, the soundtrack! Every time I show the soundtrack to somebody, they always rock out to it, you know? Like, nowadays when you get a game, the, the music can be pretty generic and stuff, but when you get to an old TV-based game on the Super Nintendo or the Genesis, such great tunes, you know? It's like, I want to play DuckTales, based off of that cartoon TV show. Oh my god, the music in DuckTales is so good! <laughs> These people know what they're doing! <laughs> Music was just so much more fun back then. Oh boy, boss four. Tyrannosaurus! Oh shit. I forgot to do Billy's. <laughs> Mastodon... Wait. Oh god, what is it? Triceratops! That's it, Triceratops. Billy's animal is the Triceratops. I find that funny that, uh, when they get their, their, their morphers for the first time, Zordon's like all, uh, they channel the, the beasts of the dinosaurs and stuff, so, you know, it makes sense for Jason, he's got the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Billy, you know, he's got Triceratops. Kimberly, Pterodactyl. Okay. Then you get to Trini. Sabertooth Tiger! Um, that's not a dinosaur. <laughs> and then you get to Zack. Mastodon! But that's, that's not a dinosaur either. How do you fuck this up, Zordon? You fucking- you're a big blue head in a tube. And in, in, in the movie, you're apparently a guy in a crystal tube, so it's not just you're a head, you are a person in the tube who then gets projected as a head. Again, I was a casual watcher, I still don't really understand what's up with Zordon. I'd have to look it up. It's like... Even when I was a kid, I still didn't really understand it, you know? Like, he's a guy in a tube... ...and yet... ...why is he in the tube? Why does he need to be in the tube? Does, is he, like, diseased or something? Does it fill him with health, or...? Why does it project him as a giant fucking head? Why can't he just be in the tube as a dude? How does he run anything from in there? It seems like Alpha's doing all the work. Alpha the robot who is at Mighty Morphin Power Rangers headquarters and If you ever want to see if you ever wanted to see a robot that was actually gayer than C3PO. <laughs> Alpha was your robot. Hey yay 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 yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These weapons have damn good reach, too. Holy Christ. Anytime a putty might be getting a little bit close to your character, you know, those sword weapons and the way how long their arms are, ridiculously j good reach in this game. Again, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers isn't one of the hardest games in the world. I find it pretty, uh, pretty simple, pretty basic. It's... It was just so fun when you are a kid, you know? Like, I still have friends who actually can't beat this game. So I'm not gonna say it's super easy. I'm not gonna say it's everyone can beat this. I do have friends who can't beat Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. 
I don't know if that speaks ill of their abilities or anything, but... <laughs> As everyone likes to inform me, Kelly, Ashley, BJ, they all suck at video games! Ah! Well, jeez, kids. Yeah, what a great sub-boss. I just want to hit it, but he won't come down- come up here. God damn it! Get up here! Get up here, god damn it! Oh, fuck this. Bomb time! And if you didn't have a bomb for that section, oh, is it annoying because he takes forever to come up sometimes. I mean, Jesus Christ, why, sh why is he allowed to float up down there? I know he's shooting fireballs up, but, you know, we kind of need to hit him. Even if you're Kimberly with the bow and arrow, she can't aim her arrows downwards. Anyway, this boss is known as the Genie. That's it. He's just a genie. He came from a magic lamp. <laughs> I can't remember the details of the episode. I just know that he is a genie that Rita Repulsa sent upon the Power Rangers. He's also pretty fun because he's got all these different projectile attacks that he likes to use. You know, he'll send fireballs to rain down from the sky. He's got daggers that fling at you one by one, each going lower. So it's a nice pattern recognition thing, you know, which I always enjoy. And that boss music. Oh god. I'm having an or I'm having an orgasm right now just listening to it. I swear. If you could see my pants. <laughs> okay. That was weird. I don't know why I said that. But uh that's the end of part 2, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be moving on to area 5 and the final part in uh, part 3. See you then.